Hey folks, this is Dave Higgins. This tutorial is an introduction on how to use the brush tool to create a painting from a photograph. Now this is a basic overview. There will be more tutorials coming that will go into much more depth on how to use the brush tool. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the brush tool and how to use the brush tool in relationship to creating a painting from a photograph. The brush tool is an extremely powerful tool and can be adjusted to do many different things in many different ways. So my suggestion is to keep it as simple as possible in the beginning. I'm going to use one brush type. The brush tool is located over in the tool palette. You want to click on the little diamond at the bottom to reveal all of the brush tools. We're going to use the mixing brush, which is the brush you will most frequently use when you're making a painting from a photo. So I'm going to click on it. Up here at the top, these are all the brush attributes, and these can become very involved. Um, they do a lot of things, and it takes a long time to learn what they do. So what I'm going to recommend is that we stick with one brush type, which I'm going to use as the fan brush. There are two of them. They both work a little differently. You can experiment and see which one you like. Now you have all these attributes over here. The only one I'm going to recommend you deal with is this one right here. You see it says wet heavy mix. There are several different selections and what this does is it changes how the paint blends on the canvas. Um, I'm going to use the bottom one because it has the most dramatic effect of all of them and I want to make it look as much like a painting as possible. Next thing we want to look at is the brush size. So if we click again over here on this little axis, we can see we have a size palette here. You want to start with a fairly big brush. So I'm going to start up around 100. Now, the brush size is totally related to the resolution of the image. If you have a 300 DPI image, then the brush is going to look much smaller than it would on a 72. I'm going to recommend that you use a 72 resolution when you're doing this, and I'm going to explain this in depth later. But right for right now, we're going to set it up around 100. I'm going to click out here and see what size. So that's pretty big, and that's what I want, because the object of this first layer is to break up as much detail as possible. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on over, and I'm going to select the bottom layer in the layer palette. Because what we want to do is we want to build the detail up towards the top. The source layer is here. Now I have to have the source layer on. And I'm going to come on in and I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to really try and mess this up. What I want to do is, is obliterate as much detail as possible to break it up so I'm going to make it look like a painting. Now you have to turn off the source layer to see what you're doing. And we can see that we've done a pretty good job of breaking that up. Now with the source layer off, you can still go in and paint. But then what you're doing is you're only working with the with the material you already have and you're not importing anything from the source layer. And this is one of the things that will make it a painting is if you do a lot of work without the source layer on. Like I don't want those numbers quite so bold so I'm going to break those up. Now I'm going to turn the source layer back on and then turn it off and we can see the difference. Now I'm going to go to another layer, the layer above the last one, and I'm going to go on up to the brush tool, and I'm going to approximately half whatever the setting is. So I'm going to take it down around 50. Now the smaller the brush, the more detail it's going to bring into the image. So let's see how this looks. Now I'm going to, this time, I'm just going to work on defining the edge of the boat and figure out what I want to keep in the image. Now you have to turn off that sauce layer to see what you're doing. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to turn it back on again and work in here a little bit. Maybe bring some of this detail in down here in the water. I like that rope there. Let's turn it off and see what we've got. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, I still like a... I'm going to go to, a, to the next layer, half the brush size again. Take it down around 25 or so. Turn on the source layer, and I'm going to start cleaning up these edges even more. Bringing in some of the detail from the rivets, some of the working on the 
middle of the boat, some of the white here. Now the object is, is to bring in details selectively and leave out the detail that's not important to the image. So let's shut some of these off and see what we've done. So here's a, a sub painting or underpainting. We come up, we bring in some more detail, bring in a little bit more detail, and this is where we are now. Now I'm going to leave my source layer off, again, because I don't want these numbers being so predominant in the image. I'm just going to paint them out, and I can do this when the source layer is not selected. I'm going to work on some of this other images here. Now you might want to zoom in and work. You might find this easier. I like working at this magnification so that I can see the whole image, and I like leaving the brushwork in there as much of the streaking as I can. Okay. Now we're going to go up to the next layer, and I'm going to take it down to even lower. I'm going to go down around 12. And now I'm going to come in, turn my source layer on, and I really want to try and get some of this detail of the rivets. And I want to try and get this rope in there. So let's turn it off and see what I got. And remember, I can turn off this layer to see what I've done, and you can see I've brought up that detail. I want to put a little bit more emphasis on the edges of this boat. So I'm going to turn the source layer back on and go on in and pull some of that source information in. Turn off the source layer. Check my work. That's looking pretty good. I don't like this dark line in here, so I'm going to leave the source layer off. Now I'm just going to go in and work with the paint that's already there and change how that works. Bring a little bit more. I like that line, so I'm going to pull that line up in. It's sort of an odd object back there, so we're just going to take that out. This is a overview of how we use the brush tool. Now you're going to want to experiment with a lot of these, but in the beginning you want to keep it simple because it, it, it really is very involved and it's a very powerful tool and can do a lot of things and if you try and try them all you're just going to get overwhelmed. So I would experiment, pick the brush that you like. You don't necessarily have to use the one I like. There are other brushes available, but find some things that you like that you're comfortable with and stick with it. Um, all of the work on this particular painting has been done with a mouse. I'm not even using a tablet. I'm keeping it as simple as possible to try and learn how the tools work. Now I can see here that I want to bring that shadow up into there. Uh, okay, I think I'll leave it like that. Now there'll be more tutorials coming on using a layers palette, how to prepare your image for the painting process.